Hi folks, how's it going? Hope we're all keeping well. You're very welcome to our very first history lockdown lesson of 2021. Um, so guys, how this is going to work is I'm going to send you uh, a link to a short video lesson, usually maybe about 12, 13 minutes long, um, on the same day that you have history with me. So that'd be Monday, Thursday and Friday. Okay, and the link will be, will be posted up on the school wise and I'll uh, write a little bit of an instruction beside the link as to what I want you to do. Okay, so um, how the video is going to work, guys, is I, I don't want you to take down any notes, okay? But what I do want you to do is have your, your, your history copy with you and a pen or pencil or whatever you want because I will ask you at certain stages to pause the video and to do a short task, whether it's maybe answering a few questions or it could be drawing a, a diagram of something. So make sure you have your copy with you and your pen or pencil with you when you are watching uh, this video and as you know as you know guys this video is ju it's just on youtube so you can watch it on whatever you want your phone laptop uh, tablets whatever suits you okay so to begin 2021 i just want you to do a quick recap matchup activity so in front of you guys you can see you've got a matchup activity you've got on the left they are parts of a castle, keep, battlement, port, colors, etc and on the right you have the definition i want you just to pause the video and I want you just to, in your copy, write down the definitions on the, or write down the words on the left, and then write down the appropriate definition on the right. Okay, so I want you to pause the video and just do that activity now, just for whatever two or three minutes, whatever long it takes. When you're ready, hit play, and we'll continue on with the lesson. Okay, so. Today we're going to look at what life was like in a medieval castle. Okay, so what life was like for the lord or the king and the lady or the queen in a castle. Okay, so when I say lord, guys, a lord is the, basically the person who runs the castle and rules the surrounding kingdom. Okay, so the lord uh, can sometimes be known, it could sometimes be called a king or sometimes they're called a lord. Okay, and then they also they have a queen with them or a lady. Okay, so life in a medieval castle. Well, a medieval castle, you can see here, guys, this is the inside of a, a medieval castle here. You can see uh, quite not that comfortable looking. Okay, so castles were cold, uncomfortable and drafty places to live in. Okay, so these castles, they, didn't, they had lots of, they were built of, you know, concrete blocks, didn't have really nice underfloor heating, didn't have televisions, obviously, didn't really have any form of air conditioning so they are quite actually uncomfortable places to live in and if any of you have ever been to trim castle you'll see that you'll see how the castle even like the stairs in the castle the stairs to get up to the top levels of the castle is actually really slippy and actually quite difficult to walk on and quite dangerous okay so despite this okay the lord and lady lived very privileged lives okay so i suppose the castles were comfortable but a lord and a lady, so the likes of a lord here who lived in castles, they still lived very privileged lives if you compare their life to, say, a serf, okay? Lords and ladies, they had servants to carry out day-to-day -day activities, okay? Um, the, uh, the lord also had an estate steward, and an estate steward was like the lord's personal assistant, and an estate steward carried out most of the tasks for the lord. So if the lord said, I want this to happen in the kingdom, I want that to happen, he would say to the estate steward and the estate steward would do that work for him. Okay, the estate steward also, very important in a, a, medieval, a medieval village, they issued orders to bailiffs and a bailiff was a tax collector. Okay, so a bailiff went around to uh, the, the houses of serfs and they collected taxes off the serfs. Okay, so the taxes include, they had to pay uh, a, a, th um, a tithe, Okay, it was just a tax to the church, um, and they also had to pay a tax to the Lord as well. Okay, and, and these were usually paid in food. They weren't paid in money because their, serfs did not have money. So a serf might farm the land and might have to give maybe 10% of their food that they produced to the church and another percent to the Lord. Okay, the Lord also acted as a judge. Okay, so a lord was like a judge. So if there is ever a dispute in the in the medieval village, the lord would decide and sort it out. Okay, the lord also handed out punishment. So if you remember a few weeks ago before Christmas, we looked at medieval punishments. So a lord might decide if someone was put into the pillory in stocks, 
A lord might decide if someone was put into a dunking chair. A lord might decide if somebody had to go to jail or even somebody could be executed. Depending, It, it depends if how severe the crime was. So if they broke the law, they often were, were, were dished, these crimes or punishments were often dished out to them. Okay, so castles, they were cold and uncomfortable. Uh, but despite this, we know lords and ladies had privileged lives. Lords and ladies have servants to carry out their day-to-day -day activities. Okay, so servants would have given them food, maybe washed their clothes for them, even helped to, to bring up some of their children sometimes. Okay, we know an estate steward would carry out tasks on behalf of the lord. Okay, what do these include? Well, these would include things like, say, the you know overseeing the village, making sure villagers were uh, serfs were doing the, doing their work and, and looking after the land. Okay, and bailiffs as well. A bailiff was a bailiff. A bailiff was a tax collector, and and that was very important. Okay, so a bailiff makes collected all tax uh, taxes off the, the the serfs who lived in the village. Lords also were judges, so a lord could decide how severe or not severe a punishment was for people. Okay. Okay, guys, so in front of you, you've got four short questions to do. I want you to pause the video and I want you in your copy to answer these questions. Okay. Okay, so we'll continue on. So the Lord, we know, was married, okay? And the Lord was married to a lady or a queen. So the life of a lady or a queen of a castle was different to a Lord, okay? So many ladies were married through arranged marriages to Lords, okay? Arranged marriage, we've heard that before in the Roman Empire. What's an arranged marriage? Well, an arranged marriage is when basically your your parents arrange you to marry a Lord, okay? So if, if, if your parents are arranging for you to get married, obviously you get married when you're quite young. So women often married lords as young as 14. Okay, so, and, and very often the, the girl could be 14, the lord might be 30. Okay, so there could be a big age gap. All right. The lady of the castle was in charge of domestic duties. So the lady of the castle did have a bit of work to do. They had they were in charge of the upkeep of the castle. Okay, so they would they would tell the servants what to do. So they would tell the servants to clean this area, to prepare this food, to to to, to preserve this food, whatever it may be. Okay. So one task was that they ensured there was enough food in the castle. So that was what the lady was in charge of. And the lady would maybe tell servants, servants, we need more food. Uh, we need to go out around the village and collect food off the serfs. Okay. She also oversaw the salting of food for preservation. So when you salt food, like if you like rashers, for example, rashers are salted to preserve them. Okay. So salting food was very important in the Middle Ages because they didn't have didn't have like really productive farms that produce food every every day and every week. So you know if you if you're for example if you went and hunted and you caught a wild pig or a wild boar. You would have to salt that meat to preserve it for months or maybe even a year. Okay. Um, the lady was also responsible for raising children. Okay. So the, the Lord didn't really bring have much. So the Lord, who would be the father, would didn't have much say in bringing up children. That was more the lady's job here, the lady of the castle. Okay. Now, what was very common in the Middle Ages was something called fosterage. Okay. So very often, if a lord and a lady had a baby, when the baby was about four or five, they would send the children to another family to be brought up, okay? And maybe that family would send their kids back to the lord and the late the, the other lord and the lady to be brought up. This is called fosterage, okay? So basically the lord and the lady would swap children with another family, um, and then that family would bring up the children, okay? And this is just a tradition in the Middle Ages. It's all it's something that does kind of happen to this day as well. Okay, so ladies, ladies often married through arranged marriages to lords. Women often were married off uh, at 14 years of age. Ladies had in castles had to do a bit of work. They ensured there was enough food. They would have given work to servants and they would have oversaw the salting of food. Okay, big thing they did is they, they raised children. So they were like full-time mothers essentially as well. They raised children and they also raised other people's children or other lords and ladies' children through fosterage. Okay. So guys, on the final slide here are three questions. I want you to again pause the video and answer these questions. So guys, the, the, the three tasks today, the matchup task from slide one, the questions from the other slide, and these questions must be put into your copy, answered into your copy, and they must be 
done and I need a pick a clear picture of these questions sent to me by Thursday okay and guys you don't have to write the question just write in the answer okay and make sure you send a clear picture of your work to me by Thursday okay thanks so many for tuning in folks and we'll chat to you again on Thursday